Welcome back, heroes, to some more Pokemon Sovereign of the Skies. I gotta say, I love, love the town music and Hesperia. It's so, so nice. But last episode, we began our journey. We've got our starter Pokemon. We chose a Froki, which is looking pretty cool. What's the ability? Uh, Torrent, okay. Also, um, some of you did guess the name correctly for the, uh, the Froki. Jin is from Eden Zero, which is a great anime slash manga, depends if you're reading it or watching it. I never know what to say sometimes when, like, with something like that, like Eden Zero, I read the manga, but then I also, it's got an anime now, like I've watched season one, and it's like, what, what do I say, a manga, anime, the, go hand in hand. But anyway, we're heading to the, the mountain, and there's a secret entrance behind the waterfall. Do we have to go this way or behind the waterfall? Ah, there it is. Cool. Everybody here? Then let's go in. I probably should have healed up a little bit, because I had like, what? 10 HP less, but oh, we should be alright. I do love this cave. Love the little, like, fire, the flame little torch on the on the wall. And the ring around it. Like, this game is just gorgeous. From the portraits to the just town names, though. Everything's so good. But alright. Somehow we should get to the ruin like this. We should be careful. We could also be attacked here by wild Pokemon. Voltsy will certainly protect us from the dangers, I'm sure. Uh, am I right, Voltsy? Yeah, you're right, yeah. I'll protect you guys. Right, you do it. I'm here in case of emergencies. Alright, let's move on. Let's go. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's nothing. Hey. So let's go this way. Ooh, that's a big Pokeball. Very big Pokeball. I like that because it makes it easier to uh, easier to see. Won't miss any, hopefully. All right, what else we got around here? Any wild Pokemon? At the moment, no, we've got no repel on. Uh, wait, I think right could be the right way. Was well, it Sandshrew? Hey, old buddy, and you're gone. I'm gonna quickly go back. For a split second, I thought maybe this way would be the right way. Ooh. Where does this take us? Oh, you can't jump across that way. And we have got a potion! Not bad, not bad at all. Alright, so let's go for that sand shrew, see where it takes us. Not sure how long the mountain is, I don't remember, but... Potentially this episode, we could be getting into a very difficult battle. Wonderful, we're on the other side. You've done really well. Thanks. Wasn't that hard. William, are you alright? Kinda, but this bridge, why did it collapse so easily? Are you suggesting that somebody deliberately destroyed it? I don't know, but the wind hasn't even been blowing much around here lately. You don't think... Well. Somebody must have sabotaged it. Sabotage? But why would someone do such a thing? I'm not sure, but if that's true, this place could be dangerous. We made it this far, we're not going back now. Calm down, we didn't plan to do that. All we have to do is be careful and keep our eyes open. Then let's move on. Sounds good. Ooh. We're being watched. Hmm, <laughs> that looks suspicious. I should inform the team. And the evil team uniforms also look pretty sweet. Alright, so what are we doing? Just follow the path, I guess. Hey, the sanctuary, what up? Can we climb down there ourselves? I'll follow in a second, I want to go over here. And there's nothing. Maybe in the future if we can come back here and surf, we could go down and see, but I'm not sure if that's surfable water. I'm gonna take you out for the experience. Hey, not bad. We might get level 10 soon. If we can take, like, what, two more sanctuaries? Oh, cool, a little animation for, um, climbing down. She looks really cool. Oh, I like that. A sand shrew. We're gonna keep bubbling. I'm not gonna capture a sand shrew because I don't really fancy using a sand slash. I don't know what I want my team to be, but I'm gonna get a cool team. Uh, let's get rid of Growl. 
Uh, anything else around here? More sanctuaries. Is, is it just sanctuaries in here? Lots and lots of sanctuaries. Uh, okay. Oh, item. Nice. What we got? Another potion. Sweet. I'll take it. More potions, the better. We can stay nice and healthy. Alright, let's go down this way. That's the lens. We go down this. Wait, that takes us back ground. Oh, we go down here. Okay. Uh, anything else? Two ways to go. I right, can climb up there, or we can go this way. And no, we can't go that way. <laughs> a little rocks block in the way. Does lead to the sanctuary? Hey. Are you taking this little buddy? Oh, and then you jump down. Hey, where are you going? Can we just come from that way? Can we we can't jump down ourselves, so I'm guessing we go back down here. I'm fairly certain I remember the sanctuary like breaking a hole in the wall to get us to where we need to go, but okay, we'll definitely break that. Hey, thank you. Nice, nice, nice. Again. I think once we finish this area, I, I might. I think I might catch a Lit Leo, get a Pyro for the team. I haven't used a Pyro in a long, long time. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, yeah, he found his friend. It'd be really awkward if one of them didn't make the jump and fell into the little. <laughs> the water there. <laughs> oh. Must be real bad. Got paralyzed heals, so we. And now we're outright. Nope, still a little bit more. We're climbing pretty high. Climb really high. Hey, light. So we're out now. Ooh. I've been here for far too long. Here stands a part of the uh, Ribera mountain range, the heart of our home island. Great, I'm looking forward to it. Look out for the stone tablets of, of the mountains. A lot of history is written there. I've spent much time translating this old language. Here we go. Let's go read it if we can. Uh, the something want to bring the world into something again. They are counterpart to the watchers of our world. What that means. When the beginning, a uh, reigned order had to be imposed to the world. The something brought something in harmony into the world for the first time. And all those who show something and are not ready to be not ready to bend the knee will be broken and made into dust. Oh wow. It's not good. The first war brought into our world that damage the something of this world. Love the music here as well. It's pretty cool. The Guardians entered this great something with a big sacrifice and brought back peace of this world. So the Guardians are going to be Latios and Latias, I'm assuming. Obviously from the title screen. Uh, had its price, the Guardians disappeared, never to be seen again. Until this game, or this year. <laughs> Alright, ruffle it. Um, I don't want a bravery, Ari. We? But we'll bubble it. And bubble it again. Nice. Give me that experience. Uh, nothing down there. Any more Pokemon? Oh, got another tablet to read. For ages, peace and something to reign this world through the scars of the past will never fully heal. Big one here. Oh. Every time I failed at exactly this point, I'd always hoped that there would be more to see. Because knowledge of what is anchored here is complete or incomplete. Deciphering this language and all the other stone plates took me years of work, but to this day I have not been able to solve this riddle on this wall. Unlike the other stone plates, this one is a mystery. William, what exactly does it say? Let me have a look at my notes. It says, to the something we will say, 
Open the eye in your heart and finally you'll be able to see the truth. Alright, the what and what is meant with truth? I've been asking myself this question for years. Again and again I have failed at exactly this point. There's a notch on the stone plate, have you seen that? I think you can put your hand in there. Good catch, I also noticed that. Aiden, let's try it. Oh, oh. Nothing, nothing happens. <laughs> Disappointing. Guess we're not, uh, guess we're not the right people. Maybe us? But you two might be. We? Why us? Right, that makes sense. What makes sense? Why do it work for us when it has already failed for you? Well, I can't really make much sense out of anything here, but it's worth a shot. Exactly. Aiden's right. And even if it does not work, you'll still have learned a lot about the history of Amatech today. Whew, I don't know. What do you think, Volti? Can we do this? No. No, of course we can. Let's do it. If you believe in it, then so do I. We're ready. Feels warm to the touch. <gasps> oh. We're the chosen ones. Floating? What's going on here? <laughs> Weird stuff going on down there. Yeah, this is the bit I remember. I, don't, I didn't remember the uh, the floating bit, but I remember this area being um, uncovered. What's that? There's more. We'll have to see this up close. Yes, we will. Uh, can we go up this way first? Oh, I think we have to. Unless we can go around here. <gasps> oh, a Pokeball! But I don't think we can get it. Dear dude, uh, sorry buddy, but you have to get bubbled. And you have Sturdy. Of course you do. Of course you do. Sturdy is the worst. I love the background, like I love it when you can see like things in the distance, like something like that. It looks it looks so sweet. It makes you really feel like you're really high up. Oh, hey, you got a super repel, let's go. Hidden item on a rock. Just thought that rock seemed a little bit suspicious, you know. Uh which way are we going? Oh, there's more. Right oh, the other side. So I think we have to go back the way we came to get to it. More bubbles! And I'm gonna go for a potion just in case we get into a, uh, bit of a you know, die situation and be better healed. Wait, I've got a berry on or something? I do. Orange berry. Wasn't sure I was holding for a second there. Right, so, how do we get to this area? Oh! Nope. Oh, we gotta jump across, I see. Alright, do not fall. Do not fall. Wait, what's on the other side? Hey, another super potion, sweet. Got two of them now. Yo, this stone radiates a warm energy. Oh, it heals us up? No! I just wasted a potion. <laughs> Unlucky me. I just knew it. Knew there must be uh, something else here. This must be at the entrance of the sacred ruins of the Guardians. The ruins of the Guardians? The ruin of the Guardians is considered the most sacred place in the Amatek region. Many people think that this ruin is a myth and that it would not even exist. Did I remember that right, William? That's right. The ruins of the Guardians uh, houses many treasures and stories of the Amatek region that nobody knows. Until today, nobody has been able to see or even enter this ruin. Nobody had believed in the existence of the ruin until now, but it's standing right in front of me. I just can't believe it. I'm so close to advancing my research. But William, where is the entrance to the ruin? 
How should we get in there? Not actually mention it. I wonder. Hey. Oops. What's happening? I just stepped on this field. And then, th then it happened. That would mean... That's what I thought. These fields are like motion sensors. Motion sensor for what? Oh. Look there. There's this secret writing appeared. What does it say? Order will lead to enlightenment. Oh, got free. What is that? So red, blue, yellow. What does that mean? I can't explain it either. I see something like that for the first time. Strange. Never heard of that before. Is that a riddle? What happened now? The colours have gone out. Ah, I might know why. Aiden, get back on the trigger, please. Mm, okay. I thought as much. And what? These triggers are only active when two people are standing on them. Should even one of them leave the trigger, the puzzle will be deactivated and thus any possibility to enter the ruin. That's what I suspect anyway. That means while two of us are waiting down here, two of us must try to solve the riddle. Let Vault see me solve it. We'll work it out. Mm, I don't know, it could be dangerous. I guess we have no choice. What do you mean we have no choice? Just think about it. For some reason the stone plate at the top of the mountain only reacted to Vault and Emma. Who's to say the same won't be true for the other mechanisms? I guess you're right. Please trust us, father. Boltsy, we can do this, right? Yeah, of course we can. I wonder what happens when you say no, I just don't have the guts to say it. Right, together we can do it. Alright, you convinced me. But take care of yourselves. We will. You guys, hold down the fort. Alright, let's see if we can find more information about this puzzle above. Alright, so it's... It was what? Red, blue, yellow? Oh, now it's yellow, red, blue. We'll wait here. If you have any questions, we're here. Please be careful. Alright, so yellow, red, blue. Uh, let's go this way. I think we want to go back to the top. Uh, we can just bubble. Hey, growing them levels. Don't we'll get super strong. Just for throw key. Uh, so yellow. Yes. Yellow, red, blue. Oh. Oops, what happened now? Only one colour has gone out. Did we do something wrong? We can't say. This doesn't feel like it. I don't think so. If you did something wrong, all the colours must have gone out. But since only one colour has gone out, you may have understood the mechanism of the riddle. You're on the right track, keep trying. do red and then we do blue. And red should be on this side. And then lastly blue. Alright, last one. Just wish I knew how to get that item right there. I bet it's something really good. Hey! You've done it! Wow, the gate to the ruins is open! I cannot believe my eyes! Kids, you actually did it! I'm so proud of you! Thanks to you, we'll enter one of the most secret places of the whole Amatek region. Great, I'm so excited! Then let's not waste time, let's go! Sounds good, sounds good. We've done it, so this is the Ruins of the Guardians. I was hoping it really existed, but this place is beyond my expectations. William, we are the first to enter this ruin. We'll write history today, and you can finally prove your research work. I'm so curious what else awaits us here. Wow. The Ruins of the Guardians was built as a memorial to the two Guardian Pokemon, Latios and Latias. 
Whenever the world faced a catastrophe, those eons left their stronghold and averted the danger. If we're lucky, we'll find rare treasures in these ruins and be able to underst understand the story even better. Then let's not waste time. Now this place is gorgeous. Like, the purple and the blue just, it really pops. Oh, this is so sweet. So a crack in the wall there. A bit further in. Ooh. I'll remember this puzzle now. Okay, so. Uh, but Esper? Mm, I don't really want an Esper on the team. I'm being very picky, I know. I just want to get that blue one as well. So a lot of changes. As a very, very lot of changes. Put the red jewel. So we put this back. Okie dokie, and then we are gonna go this way. Put this. Wait. Oh no, it's just a sparkle. It's a little sparkle on the wall when I thought maybe I can pick something up, but... It's nothing. Right, uh, let's get the item maybe? No, I can't, but I can maybe get that one. Zubat? Nah, we don't want a Zubat. Now, Elix Elixir, are nice. That is really good. Oh, mm. Do I want a Chandelier? You know what? I think I do. If the bubble one shot it, it, it will. I found another one. I think I might capture a chandelier or a liquid to get a chandelier. That'd be kind of cool. Alright, so we hit this. And we got down here. I wanna oh, that's the blue jewel. And I'll take it back the way we came. I wanna get that item. I think I have to go all the way back around. And we get an egg special attack. Alright, respectable. One day, I will remember to use my egg special stuff. Like, I always pick it up and I never, ever use it in battles. I just feel like there's no need. It's not really, a, a, you know, an item I, I think... I ever use ever. Ow. Like the only time I've ever seen it be used really is when I've watched uh, speedrunners play a you know Pokemon game and speedrun it. <laughs> like, it's a, like a specific strategy you gotta do just to take out some Pokemon and win. Let's get the right amount of damage. Can we even leave? Oh no, we need to hit the thing again. So let's smack this. So one thing I think more like fan games and ROM hacks need to do is something like this. Like, a lot of fan games either focus on story, which is, this is good still, I like story. Or there's a Litwick, sweet. Or they, um, like, focus too much on the battling. A lot of, an aspect a lot of fan games and ROM hacks I think miss, miss, is like puzzles. Even like simple ones like this, just, I don't know, I think, ooh, I love the paralyze symbol. That looks really cool. Yeah, like more puzzles, please. Oh, and the burn symbol looks really cool as well. Like, as long as the puzzle isn't, like, super, super complicated. Just, like, something simple or just, like, a, a puzzle thrown into a route here and there. Because sometimes you just go for a route and it's just... It's a nice route, but it's just, you know, you go for it, you battle five trainers, and that's about it. Or maybe more than five sometimes, but sometimes a nice little puzzle thrown in is always good. But what to call... I'm going to call you. Um, I don't think it would even fit in. Alright, I'm going to go for it. I think it might just about fit. But I'm going to name you after my favourite candle. And I recommend this flavour. You guys are looking for a candle? And I definitely recommend getting candles for your room. They just they change your mood so, so well. But this is my favourite smell. Black cherry. It is just... Oh, I can't... I have to put a spell like this. Missing an R, but... 
Black Cherry is the best candle ever, okay? Just go with me. It's so, so good. The smell is just, I can never get enough of it. Black Cherry is the best smell ever. But uh, our team, I mean, burnt and paralyzed. <laughs> could, could be a little better, to be honest, but it's fine. Uh, so we can get out now, can't we? Wait, did they hit the statue? Yeah, I, I think they did. I cannot recommend candles enough. It's like, trust me. Especially if you spend all day in your room doing what? Like, you need you need some candles. Uh, wait. I don't, I don't want to go back, do I? No. How do we raise that? There's something I missed there. I guess we might have to go a little bit further in. So let me go back this way, because I feel like this is the way to go. Bubble. Bubble, that burn sucks. Alright, so what have I missed? I've missed something. We've got the two jewels. So let's hit that. Do we want to go up higher? We might want to go higher. Yeah, I think we want to go this way. And jump down. Uh, maybe we hit this. And this takes us... Ooh, this way. There we go. And then we put the jewels on this. Into the pedestal. Ooh. Okay, sweet. Wait, what does the uh, the writing say? The truth escapes him who does not see with both eyes. Ooh. I'm gonna lead off with Litwick. And can we get back to the start? Yes, we can. Easy. Was that already the case? William, is something wrong? I'm not sure, but somehow I imagined it differently. You don't think this ruin will end here? Do you really think this ruin was built to protect this small part? What's that supposed to be? What exactly do you mean? I must confess, I had hoped to find some remains of the Aeons here to prove their existence once and for all. Was that your intention from the beginning, William? Exactly. I'm sorry that I withheld it, but I didn't want to give anyone false hopes. However, we should investigate this room. Maybe we'll find something else. Let's get a closer look at this room. Sounds good. When time has come, the Guardians will find their chosen ones. What's that now again? Another riddle. How many more obstacles does this ruin hold? The crystals. Yes, yeah, so? That must mean something. That's for sure. Now that you mention it, in the rooms before, they had triggered a very special mechanism. These crystals don't seem to respond to us. Not at us, but to Voltsy and, em Voltsy and Emma. That's right, all this time, this ruin only reacted to the two of them. I already noticed that at the top of the mountain, your children are very special. Yeah, we are. Boltsy, Emma, come here, please. Oh. Look, the platforms. What is that? Some kind of portal? A portal, but where to? We'll find out when we go through that portal. Let's go. Very exciting. Hey. What's up? Why are you looking around in such amazement? Kids, you don't know where you are. All this here describes the Amatek region in its entirety. The whole history of the Amatek region is written here. Just look around you. 
These must be the sacred shards of C Celestis. Never thought they existed. You're probably wondering now what these fragments are all about. The Celestis shards are artifacts created by the Guardian Pokemon themselves. And they look really cool. Have they changed? I feel like this room's changed a bit. I remember it, I remember it being more blue than purple, but I like the purple. If it hasn't changed, I mean, it still looks great. If it has changed, I think it looks better. But um, these shards can see the most secret places of the Amatek region and enter the eight sanctuaries of Celestis. Don't know what purpose this is supposed to serve so far. No one has been able to find these eight sanctuaries. I guess that's the idea. I know, you look so surprised now, but I'm just going to assume that the sanctuaries are only visible to those in possession, in possession of the shards. Then why don't we borrow the shards? Wouldn't that help your research? We wouldn't do that un under any circumstances. The simple reason is that as soon as these splinters leave their shelter, the entire ruin would collapse and bury us alive. Plus the guardian Pokemon must have had something in mind when they, when they hide the shards here from the humans. They can offer you that we can watch the whole thing from a distance. I just don't want to take the chance that this is a relic of history after all. William has spoken. They let us take as much knowledge as we can. Okay. Uh, hey. This is the Force Shard. The Force Shard contains the mighty power of the mountains and is the carrier of the, the types fighting and normal. Its power holds the mountains of this region and the whole world together. If all of this was too fast for you, feel free to ask me again. It's all good. It's the Ice Shard. The Ice Shard contains the vast infinity of the Arctic. Its power can grow new glaciers. It carries the Ice type. If all of this was too fast for you, feel free to ask again. Alright, let's go to the next one. So this one's Poison. It's the Void Shard. The Void Shard contains the uh, transience of this world and is the carrier of the dark and poison type. Only a balanced relationship between a life and death guarantees that new life may build while the old passes away. It is especially important that this element maintains its balance. Neither death nor life may gain the upper hand. As sad as it sounds. Alright, let's go to the next one, which I think was fire. It's the Fire Shard. The Fire Shard contains power to form continents, as well as the uh, warmth of the sun. It's a carrier for the types of Fire, Dragon, and Flying. Its energy brings warmth to our life and holds the mighty volcanoes of Ingaro at bay. So cool. Alright, next up we have, I guess, Ground and Rock. It's the Earth Shard. The Earth Shard contains the foundation of all islands and is the carrier for the uh, types of Rock, Ground, and Steel. Its energy also holds the spreading of deserts at bay and pr protects our fields from turning to a barren wasteland. Alright, and next up we have, just reading all these like, description of the shards is so cool. If you want to go this way. That's going to be psychic and maybe fairy? If fairy's in this game. It's the soul shard. The soul shard contains the souls of every living, oh, probably psychic and ghost, or just ghost. The type Psychic and Ghost. Without its energy, we would all be an empty shell plagued by dead souls of this world. If all this was too fast, I don't think Fairy's actually in this game. If it is, then awesome, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's not. This is the Storm Shard. The Storm Shard contains the Stormy Power of Storms. <laughs> the Stormy Power of Storms is a carrier of the types Electric and Water. Its power releases a lively rain and overloading energy is released in surging storms. That's so cool. I'm guessing grass and bug here. This is the forest shard. The forest shard contains the lively energy of the woods and is the carrier for the types bug, grass, oh, and fairy. So fairy type is in this. Without this energy, the forest would probably die and take the Pokemon of that kind with it. All right, so now we've interacted with all the shards and we know all the types. Let's uh, go up here. see what happens next. I wonder if that's it. Is that back there? Aiden, 
I have to watch it up close. Let's go. I cannot believe my eyes. Are these the... Yes. They must be part of the soul do. What's a soul do? It is something from an old legend. They say that the soul do is the last remaining legacy of the guardian Pokemon. Latias and Latios. The energy of our whole region of Amatek rushes through it and protects our world. However... Everything okay, William? Yeah, well, the legend says that the legacy are two jars. Clear to that, but I've always imagined them to be different. What do you mean different? If those two jars really protect our world, shouldn't they be filled to the brim with energy? I could be completely wrong, obviously. No, you're not wrong. Oh, snap. Who are you and what are you doing here? Don't talk, uh, don't talk like that to our boss. Have some respect, old man. I love her design. Her hair looks sick. I'm sorry, boss. I was being cheeky. I'd like to apologize for Nora's behavior. She can be irritated quickly. I am... Kachan? Kachan? I think. This is my faithful companion. Binja? I don't know how you pronounce their names. I have to admit that I am a bit surprised that some simple people like you have managed to get as far into this ruin as you have. We've lost many good men trying to break the Guardian's protection. If you guys can let me know how to pronounce their names in the comments, that would be, that'd be great. What is so important in this place you're willing to sacrifice your own men for? The Soul Jars. Soul Jars? So those really are the are jars to store the legacy of the Guardians? Exactly. And just those are part of the prophecy leading us forward on the path to save what the Guardians once abandoned, our homeland. Your homeland? Yes, exactly our homeland. William, do you have an idea what they are talking about? What homeland? I'm a little confused myself. I'll explain it to you. When our world was in ruins after the first Great War, the Guardians rebuilt it. But while the three big islands, Ribera, Ingaru, and Koruka, were protected by the Guardians, the last and smallest, Fionn, was simply left to its fate. Our home, our beautiful Glazira, uh, buried under this, the icy cold of ancient times. And it's our duty to finish what the Guardians could not. The soul jars are the key to our homeland's glory. And for saving our homeland, we, Team Tundra, are ready to do everything we have to. Even if that's true, if this power could save your homeland, there's one thing you've forgotten in your plan. Well, what would that be? If it's true that the Guardians used their legacy to protect our world, manipulating it would have dangerous consequences for the rest of Amatech. Seems like we're ready to take the risk if it means we can uh, regain our part of this world in its old glory. We've taken a lot of sacrifices already, and it seems like you are, you're the next one. Faulty, we have to do something before they hurt us. Yeah, you're right. And let's go. End this. And once you're done, take the soul jars. There is no choice. We cannot stop now. We have to finish what we started. Get those shards in the meantime. We'll need them. Yes, sir. You did us a favor here, I have to say. Now it's time for you to leave this world. Farewell. So this is the, uh, the hard battle I mentioned earlier. What are we standing around for? We have to stop them. Hey, you're playing with me now. You're not going anywhere. Oof. Hey, Mo, is everything alright? Yeah, everything's okay. Are you alright? They're just kids, damn it. You should worry about yourself instead. When I'm done with you, you don't have to worry about your kids anymore. Fawlty, get a hold of yourself. This is no time to show fear. Don't worry, it'll be over soon. Let's clean it up. So they've got a Galilean and an air bomber snow, and the logo looks so sweet. That Team Tundra logo. Look at that design as well. So sweet. But level 42, yeah, we have no chance. Ember! And it's a Mega Glalie! I love the design of Mega Glalie. So cool, but yeah, we are 
We're not winning, unfortunately. I'm guessing if you do a lot of training, you probably could win this battle, but I'm assuming it's supposed to be like story-wise, and if you win, you, you lose. That's it. Oof. Boltsy, hang in there. A bit worry about yourself, old man. Boltsy, father, no! Emma, be careful. There was only one left. Let's end this now. Those wimps, that was too easy. Let's just get the jars and get out of here. I'll get my revenge one day. Mark my words, Team Tundra. Let's get out of here before it all collapses. I'm taking all the shards as well. Have you got everything? Yes, sir. All the shards are now in, in our custody. And let's go. And the portal closed. We're stuck. Wounds of Faulty were fully healed. Hey, what's up? Just, I love the look of our sprite just sitting up. It looks so sweet. So it feels like I'm fully recovered. Better check on the others. Faulty, you're alive. I'm glad you're safe. Have you checked on the others? No. Then we should hurry. Faulty, I'm fine. I'm tough. She's doing alright too, I see. Is everyone together? Let's go see. Faulty, is that you? Don't worry about me. Is everybody okay? Let's get out of here. Yeah, how? The, uh, the way's kind of blocked off. Oh, and last little bit. The teleport has been deactivated. How are we supposed to just get out of here? This is terrible. They buried us alive here. They stole the shards too. This is all my fault. If I hadn't been so curious, then those damn bastards couldn't have stolen the artifacts in the, in the first place. Don't talk such nonsense to yourself. If anyone has to take the blame here, it's me. I put you and my own children at risk. But standing here, a whining won't help you now. You need to get out of here and find help. But how? Who dares disturb our resting place? You took your time to show up. This is our home? Who dares disturb us? Who or what are you? We were once the former guardians of this world. Then you must be the legendary guardians of Ladias and Ladias. How is this possible? We have not existed in this material world for many hundreds of years. We're talking to the former souls of the Guardians here. Yeah, it stopped. Wait, maybe not. <laughs> What's going on? For the last time, who are you? What are you doing here? We're just ordinary people who have been locked up here. How'd you even make it here? We wanted to prove existence, your existence, for research purposes. And then Team Tundra set this trap for us and stole all the treasure of this ruin, including the soul jars. Ah, uh, do you know what the consequences are? We really had no bad intentions. We wanted to prove that this is uh, more than just a cave in the Rivera Mountains. You've made a big mistake. You will awaken again. Who are they? Find the eight sacred shards of Celestis, seal the energies of those eight sacred relics, 
They must not leave their shelter at any cost. The shards, the shards were also stolen by Team Tundra. Talk to the keepers. The keepers will show you the way. You have chosen this path and you must walk to its end. You have been chosen to finish the legacy of the Guardians. Path? Chosen? Guardian? What does this mean of this? It's too late, but I feel that you have a, a pure heart. You are chosen. Push forward. Let's quickly get out of here. Come in now and face your fate. It will lead you to the light. What fate? What's going on? Our time in this world is now over. Fate is now in your hands. Wait a minute. Enough talking, let's go, and then they go. For the Guardian said is true, there should be a way out of here. Let's check it out. Let's not waste time before everything collapses. So I've been saying, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. Run, run, run. Do not fancy getting buried. Oh. What's that? Is that the solution? They're just two colored glowing stones. How are they going to help us get out of here? William, let's try, let us try to take the stones with us. There will be a reason. You're probably right. Let's try it. Damn it. The stones just won't move. Same problem for me. But I've already expected this, and I also know exactly for whom this task was actually intended. Faulty and Emma, I suppose. Right. I guess we'll have to take it now. Ready? Yep. Good, because we don't have a choice. <laughs> Shall we try then? A strange stone floats over your hands, it lights up, when you touch it, it feels warm. It rests in the palm of your open hand. You look into the stone and the glow finally fades away completely. It's made of a very noble material. You feel a short heartbeat. I don't believe it, Hayden. Your children are really something special. I can't believe it. What do you think is happening here? I'll tell you all about it, but first, how do we get out of here? The stones start, glow start to glow again. Ooh. And we're teleported out. We're out, but how? Oh, and it's collapsed. Just in the nick of time. The entrance of the ruin is blocked blocked up. Don't know about you, but we should leave this horrible place while we still have the chance. Let's go to the lab and tour things over calmly. Yeah, probably for the best. Kids, I know you've imagined this to go another way, but after all that happened, you have to accomplish a very difficult task. What kind of task? A difficult and dangerous task, which the Guardians have given to you. Doesn't sound pleasant for me either. I'm your father after all, but it seems like you were chosen by the Guardians. And I'm sure you are, you're up to it and can protect the world from Team Tundra's schemes. But how are we supposed to go on this journey and take that amount of responsibility if we can't even handle Team Tundra in the slightest? No, it's not true. Your father is right, the Guardians would not have chosen you if you were not up to the task. Team Tundra may be strong, but you too will become stronger upon your journey. That's it. It looks like you'll have to get the shards. The Guardian's legacy, back at all costs. Believe me, no one would send you on this dangerous journey if it wasn't important. How are we going to do that? We have no clues as to where to even start. The Keepers. I see. That's also what the shadow figures in the ruins mentioned, right? Exactly. The Keepers have long been involved in administering the Guardian's heritage. If anyone knows how best to move forward, it's the Keepers. And the Keepers will know how we can stop Team Tundra. The Guardians have already said it, we must seal the energies in the shrines. And the Guardians are the protectors of the shrines. They must know what to do. Team Tundra has stolen eight shards and they will surely go to the shrines with them. And for that, you really are a genius, William. Well, it's not that simple. Even if I'm right, we still don't even know how your kids can stop this madness. So there's actually a real chance that we can stop Team Tundra? Yes, and you will make it. I'm sure you will. What do you think, Voltsy? Can we make it? Yeah, of course we can. Right, with our courage, we'll make it. We'll face the mission. We have one more thing for you. Oh, hey, a Pokenab, thank you. 
This useful gadget contains information about your environment and your adventure so far. The DexNav application shows you at which Pokemon in your immediate area you have seen or caught. The adventure log shows you what you've already accomplished on your journey. Additionally, the Pokenav contains a region map. The Pokenav will be useful companion on your journey. Then let's go home together for a moment so you can pack your things. And I'll have to explain all this to your mother somehow. While you're gone, I'll examine the stones you've received from the Guardians more closely. I'll catch up with you guys later. See you later. Children, I don't think we can tell your mother everything. What exactly do you mean, father? This new situation it will be hard enough for her if she hears of the dangers that Team Tundra causes. Time has not come for this kind of information. Yeah, she is not happy with going. Big sad. But we growing up, man, we growing up. Time for a pretty fun adventure. And definitely not dangerous at all. Don't you worry. That's terrible. I'm so glad that nothing happened to you. And uh, now do you see why the kids have to go? I can understand it, but as a mother, you can't ask such a thing of me. They're also my children, Mia, but we must. We cannot prevent the fate of these children. Mum, don't worry about us. We've rocked the thing already. We also take care of ourselves. I promise you that. Obviously, have no choice but to allow you to go. When the Guardians have chosen you, you must embark on this journey. Thank you, Mum. Alright, then pack your things. I'll wait for you outside. Faulty, I already have everything I need. Go pack your things up in your room and then come back outside. Alright. Uh, what do we even need to pack? I still have something for you, and I also got one. Wait, what we got? What we got? What we got? What we got? There you go. Oh, an item finder. Thank you. The item finder will help you find items that are not visible on the ground. Once you try it in your room, you will surely find things that, that you've lost. Please take care of yourselves, and please look after us whenever possible. Alright, oh, that's the toilet. Do you want to go there? Alright, which one is our room, though? Alright, so let's go for the item finder. Let's register it. Cool. Uh, got an antidote, sweet. Anything else? I'm just gonna tap myself because I think it's easier. That way, I guess it's probably in this room. Maybe in the pot? Hey, Repel, sweet. All right, well, I think it's probably a great place to end this part off. Next episode, we'll head outside and we can actually start our adventure. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.